In some of our videos about space, we get a few comments to explain gas planets. What type of planets are these? Can we stand on them? Let's find out. We all know that in the solar system, we have a few gas planets. We have Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. These, unlike Earth and Mars, are gas planets and not rocky planets. How is it possible for a gas to build up like a globe and just stay there? Why don't they spread around like space dust? This all has to do with something called gravity. When there is a strong force of gravity, it has an effect on all types of matter and the force tries to pull it towards itself. Like for example, Jupiter, the biggest planet in our solar system, and this is a gas planet. Even though Jupiter is a gas planet, the core is made from rock and it has a strong gravity. And even though it has a small core, but it's a few times the size of planet Earth. After billions of years, this strong core has absorbed so much gas around itself that it turned into a planet like this. And the reason that it looks like a globe is because the force of gravity is very equal and it pulls on all directions equally. And that means if the core is a sphere, the gas around it will be formed like a sphere. And also the gravitational force is so strong that from afar, it looks like a rocky planet. Gravity is something very interesting because it pulls equally from all directions. And that's why most things in space are a globe. You could look at stars, gas planets, rocky planets, moon, and even black holes. The people that say the earth is flat, they don't have to look far. If you look at the sun, you see a globe. You can look at the moon and it's a globe. Years ago, ancient astronomers knew that the earth is a globe because other planets are globes. But I don't know why the earth will be flat in the middle of all this. Like we said, Jupiter is a gas planet, but let's turn it into a cube rather than a sphere. Unfortunately, it will not stay like this because the core will eventually pull it so much from each direction that it will eventually turn into a sphere. Let's imagine a planet has exploded and it's turned into trillions of pieces and there's no such a thing as a planet anymore. But when a strong force of gravity pulls this matter into itself and after millions or even billions of years, a planet will be formed. So now we realize that a gas planet is formed from a very strong rocky core. There was a question that is it possible to stand on the planet like Jupiter? Unfortunately, it's not possible because the gravity will pull you so hard towards the gas and you will be destroyed before you make any contact with anything. You could kind of compare it to Earth's atmosphere, but billions of times more powerful. Another question was that, what if you ignite a match on top of a gas planet? Would it explode the planet? Astronomers say that you cannot light a match on a gas planet because there is no oxygen. And that's why, unfortunately, you can't light up Jupiter on fire. As you know, the Earth is a rocky planet and it has a lot of gravity. But why doesn't gas build up around it like Jupiter and Neptune? But there is some gas around us. The nitrogen and oxygen that's built around planet Earth is gas, but fortunately is a type of gas that creates life. 